Hi, this is Deepak Bari and I like to welcome you to in this video. This video is only for the beginners of CCNA students and in this video you will learn how to assign IP addresses on a router. But before we assign the IP addresses on a router, we need must uh, take to routers in the workspace area. This is the workspace area and uh, you can see here this is the icons of a router in Cisco Packet Tracer and you can see here the label is uh, shown here that is this is the routers and if you click here so you can see here many routers and their series will appear here and uh, we will uh, take only 2811 series uh, two times one two and uh, we will take two switches this is the icon of switch and click here so you will see here all the switches and their series number will appear here and uh, we'll select and click here and some end devices like PC, servers, laptop, it's fast. So in this video we will take two PCs like this. and uh, click on the router icon for exploring the router and this is the back panel of router and you can see here a uh, green light is on that means this is the power switch of router and the router power switch is on so if we click here so the router will power off so we need to add the interface here and uh, before we adding the interface we need to turn off the switch of the router so we will click here and the router will turn off like this and you can see here no green button is here and scroll down and select the WIC1T interface and select this image and drag and drop here and after the dragging and dropping power on the switch and close the window same process here just power off the switch scroll down and select WIC 1T interface and drag and drop this interface on here and now at the end turn on the router and close the window after the adding interfaces on the router we will connect with uh, it cables so we need two cables to connect with this router and switches so go to the, the go to this icon this is the cable icon on this Cisco Packet Tracer software and click here so we will already know that router to router is connected with a serial cable so select the serial cable here this is the serial cable and the clock symbol of the serial cable that is serial DCE and you can see the label here serial DCE and click here click on the router icon and you can see here serial 0 by 0 by 0 that means the interface we, were, we was already put in the router in the plastic and uh, click on this icon here serial 0 by 0 by 0 and uh, click on the serial 0 by 0 by 0 again to connect the router and you can see the router is connected with a serial cable but the interface is down now so we will up later so and uh, connect this straight through cable with fast ethernet 0 by 0 and uh, select fast ethernet 0 by 1 same process here select straight through and click on the icon and fast ethernet 0 by 0 in the switch fast ethernet 0 by 1 same process here for switches to PC and 
so it's just to PC like this and uh, the final step is we will assign the IP addresses on the router on the interface so I just move this here and you can see how we understand what the interface is there so in Cisco packet tracer you can go options preferences and you can see a uh, checkbox is here named always so port levels and you can check here you can see this uh, interface of a uh, cable like serial or fast ethernet then close now select uh, any of router and click on the icon now go to the CLI mode and this is the router CLI mode in which I use command line interface and uh, we will say uh, no because we will configure manually here and follow this command enable configure terminal and select the interface uh, so we will select here serial 0 by 0 by 0 with this command interface serial 0 by 0 by 0 and assign your IP address this is IP address 192.168.20.1 and the default subject mask of plus C IP addresses and you can see here the clock symbol is shown here and this means this is the disk E and we need to here uh, assign clock rate so we will assign clock rate here with this command and uh, I am going to set the clock rate is 128.000 now to changing the state of port simply put this command no shutdown and you can see here interface state is changed and select the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 with this command first you need to exit here and select interface first ethernet 0 by 0 and assign your IP address 192.168.10.1 and the default subnet mask of plus C IP address then we will change the port state of first ethernet 0 by 0 with this command no shutdown and press ctrl z key for exit to our uh, user exit mode and we will command here copy run start then close this window and same process we will revise here CLI and no enable configure terminal interface serial 0 by 0 by 0 IP addresses that is 192.168.20.2 and the default Submit mask of this and no shutdown. You can see here we will configure in uh, fast Ethernet when entering the command, then uh, you will see like this the dialog will appear line protocol on interface. And uh, don't hesitate about this and just ignore this and uh, hit enter for entering the next command and exit here then select the interface first ethernet 0 by 0 by this command 
interface first ethernet 0 by 0 and here assign the IP address 192.168.30.1 and the default subnet mask of class C IP address and simply change the port state like this and press the control C key for user exec mode and command here copy and start to save your configuration in NVRWIN. So this is the uh, this was the step of assigning the IP addresses on a router. Thanks for watching.